So uh, every day I, I use this app and it's called Mint and it allows me to basically just look over my personal uh, transactions and try to make better budgeting habits. The thing is, I've been thinking, you know, how do they get all that transactional data from your bank account? I mean, hopefully they're, you know, they're using some sort of API interface with my actual bank. But the bigger question that I want to answer for myself is, you know, I think there are some really cool applications that I could do with transactional data, like even my own personal transactional data. Like there's so many things I pay for and spend money on and locations where I spend my money and all that information would be really cool if I could see that and track that. So I was thinking, you know, maybe the basis would be doing something simple, like making an app that just lets me see my transactions. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to make a Mint clone and we'll see how far I can get, you know, in this one weekend. Um, but I'm hoping basically to learn front end development because I never do any sort of web page anything. So, um, but uh, I'm not a, I'm not a front end programmer. So that'll be interesting to try to figure that out. And then the back end, I'm not concerned about the back end just because um, like I'm very familiar with APIs and, and building them, but um, I am going to build this one in Node. So maybe I do not know as much as I, so I definitely don't know as much about Node as I do about like Python per se. So that's going to be really interesting as well. But the goal is basically just to learn a little bit this weekend and try and see, you know, how much I can really learn and uh, how close I can get to something like the functionality of Mint in a weekend. So, all right. Uh, I don't know what this series is going to be like. I'm excited to get into it. So I think I'm just going to start by doing some research. So, all right, uh, let's go. All right, so I've been doing some uh, research for a little while now, and I think what I'm gonna do, I think where I'm gonna start is real simple authentication um, for users. So I'm gonna use, I decided I'm gonna use React on the front end, and then I'm gonna use uh, MongoDB as my database for now. Get a simple sign-in system working um, with a, with the React um, front end, and then I'm gonna integrate using Plaid. Uh, Plaid is an API that's, I mean, just really great for helping you get um, any sort of like financial information. And then I'm probably just going to do the server backend in Node. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is, I guess, go ahead and install everything I need to get installed. Uh, and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, sweet. So, all right, so now I have <laughs> React and, uh, and, Ex and an Express server set up. So. Uh, now I guess we actually have to go into the hard part of, uh, actually making this thing actually work. So let's get into that. Okay. So <laughs> just worked out a bug I had that I don't even really know why I had, but, um, yeah, so now I've got my database all hooked up. So now I'm going to work on getting the register and the login page to actually work with that database. Uh, and then we can get into all the interesting stuff of actually getting the financial data and bringing it back to the uh, front end. So, all right, let's get on it. <laughs> Basically what I want to get done, I kind of think the stopping point for uh, for tonight is just going to be getting to the point where users can log in, log out. And um, once all that's working seamlessly and, you know, like a user's ID is returned when they log in and stuff, then I think I'm going to call it a night for here because that is quite a, quite a bit that I've done. After I get all that squared away, then I can just focus on the Plaid API's data being pulled into my Mongo database and then being displayed onto uh, my page. Um, so yeah, all right. So let's see if we can get all these bugs with login fixed. <sighs> all right. <laughs> all right, so now I have it working, you know, how I really switch it to. So if I go to the forward slash route, all right, I'm going to go to the sign-in, 
And so now with sign in, if I type in some test credentials like test at test dot com and like pass one two three four, uh, and then hit submit. It redirects me to the next page and it stays my user ID. So this is going to be how I actually interface with my database to get uh, more information out. So that's going to be real key um, coming up. All right, so it's uh, the next day. Um, so now, like yesterday, I got all of the basically database talking to the front end the way I'm doing it to and everything. Um, that's, that's really new to me because I don't really use, I never really do front-end development and I really never use JavaScript, so this is all brand new. Um, but today, I think what I'm going to do is integrate um, Plaid now. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get that working with our front-end. Cool. All right, so... <laughs> All right, cool. So now I have this button up here actually working. So now if I click it, it should allow me to connect. Um, and I'm gonna use the test credentials that just come with uh, their API. All right, cool. And uh, I got my success message. So now I know I have this uh, all working. What I'm gonna do is, because this, of course, this passes back some um, data from their API so you can actually read the transactions. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into uh, the database for this user that's logged in. And then we should be able to display that user's information to the screen. Woo. All right. So now we have each item being saved correctly. Um, so now if a user connects, you know, multiple banks, those are basically each connection in Plaid is called an item. So now I have all those items being stored. Um, in the document with that user's ID. Um, yeah, so I guess now that I have all that working, let's work on getting some of that data displayed back to the screen. So I have these authorized for transactions. So what I want to do is get the transactional data for each and return it to the screen. So all right, I'm going to do that now. Okay, now I have the actual transactions showing onto the screen. Yeah, I mean, I've pretty much done, I guess, everything I really set out to do, you know, this weekend. I just proved that you can get transactional data. Oh, by the way, none of, the, none of this data you're seeing is any of my actual personal data. Um, it's all test data that you get from the Plaid API. Like, they have a test account that you can use on everything. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, so, ah, man, this application, it doesn't look too good right now. Um, but it does everything I wanted it to do. You know, it gets those transactions. It's saving that transactional data when a user signs up and connects a new account. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, if I, and if I added like a bank account like right now, like I'll add another one. So we'll add like BBNT, continue. And we should see even more transactions, which we do, right? So now that that's all working, uh, I'm gonna take a break for a few hours because I've been coding, like I coded a good portion last night and then I coded a lot this morning. So. I think we're gonna take a little break. Um, I think we're gonna like, I don't know, go take a little relaxation break. Um, and then I'll come back later today and I'll just finish up some stylings and do some polish. All right, so I took a much needed break earlier. So now I'm back and I think what I'm going to do is clean up some of the stylings here because um, as you can see right now, it just looks kind of awful. Uh, so yeah, I can definitely, well, I'm not a front-end programmer, I can definitely be better than this. So uh, yeah. All right, well, I devoted enough of my weekend uh, to this project. And I mean, it's been pretty good what we've been able to learn so far. Uh, I mean, I don't really deal with React, so I guess all that is pretty new to me. And then of course, Node. There's a lot of intricacies of building um, like RESTful servers using Node and Express that I didn't really think about uh, because I'm so used to building them in Python. So uh, yeah, I guess that's a lot of learning, but we can walk through what I was able to accomplish. So I have a sign up and a login page. If I sign up with some test credentials and we log in, it'll pull all the transactions I have. 
and all those transactions are just in a are just in a um, Mongo database uh, that's being like fetched. So this is essentially what the data would look like. So um, yeah, I mean, pretty basic, but I have it just putting all the information in a table and I made it look nice enough to color code the different columns using a React strap and stuff. Um, I didn't really go into it. Of course, you could get way more advanced. And then the link button is still here. All right, so over the course of this weekend, I developed an application called Lint and I made it called Lint because it's lesser mint. Um, but anyway, yeah, you know, over the, the whole point of the project was to, you know, make a minimal front end in React JS, make a minimal uh, API back end with Node.js, and um, basically just integrate with the Plaid API so I can get banking data without having to store a user's actual uh, bank account credentials. So, you know, all that is up and it's running. You know, while it doesn't look the best because I am by no means a front end web developer, uh, and I am brand new to React. It is really cool that I was able to get something working, you know, just in like one weekend. So I actually kind of have an idea for another project in which I will need a web front end. So I'm definitely going to go with React because I really did enjoy my experience with it. And now as far as these videos go, I don't really know what this is. Like if it's the developer vlog or if it's just you know, one-off video, I'm not really sure. I have enjoyed recording this and recording this whole process. You know, it's hard because, you know, when you're coding, not a lot comes out necessarily. So, you know, I tried to get snippets here and there in the video, but um, maybe I'll try to make more of these in the future. Uh, so yeah, if you liked it, um, I guess like it and subscribe. Thanks and uh, see you in the next one.